A Russian fighter jet last month released a missile near a UK aircraft over the Black Sea, which Moscow blamed on a technical malfunction, the UK Defense Secretary said Thursday. Speaking to the House of Commons, Ben Wallace said on September 29th that a British armed surveillance aircraft on routine patrol in international space over the Black Sea was interacted with by two Russian armed Su-27 fighter planes for about 90 minutes. Wallace added during that time, one of the Russian jets released a missile in the vicinity of the RAF aircraft, which completed its patrol and returned to base. The aircraft is reported to be RAF Rivet Joint. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia threatened the unarmed British RC-135W Rivet Joint with a missile launch from its Su-27 fighter. Let's get started. This video is brought to you by Established Titles. Established Titles is a project in Scotland that provides a very special opportunity by which you can contribute to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland. Title packs allow you to buy a plot of land in Scotland from 1 square foot to 10 square feet on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. The certificate features a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. A tree will be planted with every order and there's a partnership with global charities, One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support global restoration efforts. Since the project is based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English, you could officially change your name to lord or lady and get it on your credit card or plane tickets, etc. This makes a great last-minute gift and they even have couple packs that come with adjoining plots of land. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using Defense Updates link will effectively be next to my plot, within a few minutes of walking distance. Depending on how many of you want to become a lord or lady, we can build our own little Defense Updates kingdom. Established Titles is actually running an early Black Friday sale, plus if you use the code Defense Updates, you get an additional 10% off. Go to EstablishedTitles.com slash Defense Updates to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Wallace said he communicated his concerns over this potentially dangerous engagement in a letter directly to his Russian counterpart, Sergei Shoigu, and the Russian Chief of Defense Staff in Moscow. Russia replied on October 10th that they had conducted an investigation into the circumstances of the incident and blamed the missile release on a technical malfunction of its Su-27 fighter. Moscow also acknowledged the incident took place in international airspace the UK Defense Secretary said. Wallace said UK patrols in the area have now restarted, this time escorted by British fighter aircraft. He added, Everything we do is considered and calibrated with regard to ongoing conflict in the region and in accordance with international law. Many experts have indicated that a technical malfunction like this is extremely unlikely, and it was potentially a deliberate attempt to scare off the RAF rivet joint. While Rivet Joint is an unarmed aircraft, there are reasons for Russia to act like this. The Boeing RC-135 is a family of large reconnaissance aircraft built by Boeing and modified by a number of companies, including General Dynamics, Lockheed, LTV, E-Systems, and L3 Technologies, and used by the United States Air Force and Royal Air Force. Based on the C-135 Stratolifter airframe, various types of RC-135s have been in service since 1961. The RC-135 has 14 variants. On the 27th of March 2010, the British Ministry of Defense announced that it had reached an agreement with the U.S. government to purchase three RC-135W rivet joint aircraft to replace the Nimrod R-1 which was subsequently retired in June 2011. The aircraft, to be styled as Air Seeker, were scheduled to be delivered by 2017 at a total cost of around £650 million, including the provision of ground infrastructure, training of personnel, and ground support systems. In 2013, the UK government confirmed that crews from the RAF's 51st Squadron had been training and operating alongside their USAF colleagues since 2011, having achieved in excess of 32,000 flying hours 
and 1,800 sorties as part of the 55th Wing at Uffet Air Force Base. The RAF received the first RC-135W in September 2013, which was deployed in July 2014 to support coalition action against the combat Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant militaries in Iraq. RC-135W Rivet Joint is an advanced version of RC-135 fitted with a sensor suite to detect, identify, and geolocate signals throughout the electromagnetic spectrum. The maximum airspeed of the aircraft is 540 miles per hour or 870 kilometers per hour. The range and service ceiling of RC-135W are 4,040 miles or about 6,500 kilometers and 39,000 feet, respectively. The mission crew can forward gathered information in a variety of formats to a wide range of consumers via Rivet Joint's extensive communication suite. The crew consists of the cockpit crew, electronic warfare officers, intelligence operators, and airborne systems maintenance personnel. Depending on the mission, up to 27 personnel could be accommodated. While several of its capabilities remain classified, it is known to possess the technical backbone to support theater and national-level intelligence consumers with near real-time, on-scene collection, analysis, and dissemination capabilities. RC-135W is also able to intercept and monitor communications chatter across a wide area and share important pieces of information directly with forces on the ground. While Javelin, Enlaw, Stringer, Bayraktar TB2, and HIMARS have been in the headlines, a lot of work's been done in the background by US, UK, and allies when it comes to providing intelligence to Ukraine. For example, HIMARS has been used to knock out ammunition depots, but from where the Ukrainians got the exact locations. Rivet Joint has played a key role in this kind of information gathering. Also, it has potentially been able to intercept Russian communications, which we all know are not fully encrypted. This could have enabled the British MOD to provide Ukrainian military leadership with excellent battlefield intelligence, which is a key aspect of warfare. Russia is well aware of the capabilities of Rivet Joint and would certainly not like the aircraft to collect data regarding Ukrainian battle space which it's been doing even before the February 24th invasion started. The missile firing was most likely an attempt to frighten Britain from carrying out these missions. But as evident, it hasn't worked, and now rivet joints are flying with armed fighter escorts. Subscribe for more videos like this, hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.